This is Sebastian Middle Martinez, MMA Interior of Brad Tavares, who faces Edmund Shabazian at UFC 244. All right, so you're here at one of the biggest events of the year. One could argue the biggest. How do you feel about all the craziness, all the hype, all the attention going on for this event and for your fight? Uh, I, I love it, you know. When I, I was initially supposed to fight at Singapore last week, uh, when the opportunity came to move to this card, you know, I, I jumped at the opportunity. Like, as a fighter, who doesn't want to fight at Madison Square Garden? You know, one of the most iconic arenas in all of the country and probably even the world. So, uh, yeah, it was a no-brainer, you know. Um, I'm just super stoked to be a part of this card. Um, I've never been to Madison Square Garden or inside yet, so... Uh, to step foot in there when I do, I, I, I'm just gonna soak in all that energy and uh, enjoy the moment even more. So it's kind of a dream come true? Yeah, pretty much, you know. Um, my biggest dream, honestly, for as far as where fights go is to have a UFC Hawaii, but uh, this is a is a probably second place right next to that. And it's been announced that Donald Trump will be attending. How do you feel about that? I mean, not every, he's a controversial, figure obviously I don't know how political you are but how do you feel about his attendance and all that that will bring as well oh uh, you know I don't know how that's gonna go I honestly don't really have an opinion on it I, me personally I, I don't care one way or the other if he was there if he's not there uh, I heard the news yesterday I thought it was kind of funny when I first heard it like oh wow Donald Trump's gonna be there cool okay whatever um, so yeah I, I don't really have an opinion on it really um, just another person at the fights and so you're taking on Edmund Shabazian, who's, you know, he's had a great run in the UFC so far. He's had a lot of good wins. When did he pop up on your radar? Um, I actually did watch his last fight against, I believe it was Jack Marshman. Um, so, I, so I did see him, and I, I could see that they're, you know, kind of building some hype around him and whatnot. Um, and obviously, I watched, since taking the fight, I've watched his other fights. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I got nothing against Edmund, you know. Um, I'm not looking past them at all. I think he is tough, but uh, I know I'm better. And what do you feel gives you the biggest advantage, or what do you feel is your biggest strength in this fight? Uh, everything, you know, but obviously the biggest advantage here is uh, experience. You know, I have a lot of experience. Um, I've been there so many times before. I've been in the UFC uh, pretty much my entire fighting career, you know, um, over the last... 10 years or whatever it's been now. So uh, I would have to say the biggest edge I have is experience. Well, yeah, I mean, touching on experience, your last fight was with, you know, the current champ, Israel Adesanya. And considering what he's done to a lot of fighters afterwards, one could say that you've had a, a, one of the stronger performances against him. When you see what he's done since your fight, like, does that give you some kind of encouragement that, like, you know, you were able to, you know, give him a proper fight and now he's a champ? Uh, you know what, honestly, when I, when I look at the fight, what drives me is to fight him again. Um, I, I don't take anything away from it like, oh, well, he finished this guy, he finished that guy, he didn't finish me. At the end of the day, I still lost. So that leaves that bitter taste in my mouth and I wanna avenge that loss. Um, but yeah, it, it's great to see that he is the champion now, you know, so my last fight was against the champion. And he's uh, in a weird position. He was gonna fight uh, uh, Paulo Costa, Costa's injured. You know, it's your division. Who do you think is more deserving of having the next title shot against Adesanya right now? Um, so I did see online that they were saying Romero might get the shot. Um, that kind of makes sense. You know, he, he and Costa fought, in my opinion, a really close fight. Um, I had Costa winning that fight, but uh, it was a really close fight. So had the judging gun just won, you know, could have went to him easily. Um, so I can see that happening. Um, I feel like everybody else that was close to that just well he just fought Robert Kelvin is fighting now uh, so yeah I don't know it would either be Romero or maybe Cannoneer if anything but uh, yeah I think the Romero fight makes sense all right and finally what do you think fans at Madison Square Garden here in New York City should expect of your fight with Edmund Shabazian oh fireworks you know it's gonna be a fun fight and they can definitely expect to see my hand raised all right, thank you very much good luck in the fight